If you love Shetian, these UI templates are definitely for you. It was created by this guy right here, and this library is open source, meaning it is free to use these blocks wherever you like. So let's check them out. This library is something like Shetian blocks page, so it's a collection of modern looking blocks which can be used to create an awesome looking application which is really going to stand out in 2025. So every block that you see here can be just copy pasted into our project and we can use it on our landing page. So let's check the blocks page to see what kind of blocks we have. So here we have a link and the first one is the hero section and you saw there is even an animation so if I refresh my screen we have this transition like coming in the modern solutions for customer engagement. That one is looking really nice. Also, everything is working both in light and dark mode. So we don't have to worry about the themes. And also it is working on all resolutions. So check this one out. It is amazing on mobile. So we don't have to think about responsiveness. And the implementation is extremely easy. We have the simple shedcn command, which we can just copy paste into our terminal and everything is going to be installed for us. And also we have a V0 link if we'd like to update this component and adjust it to our needs. Let's check other component as well. So here we have this logo cloud. You probably seen this bunch of times on modern website these days. Then these feature cards, this one is looking really awesome. And on mouse over, we even have this slight animation. Then we have this content for a simple content on your page. Statistics, again, this is something you seen like a million times on websites these days. We have a team. Here is the creator of this library. Then we have testimonials, call to action, footer, pricing cards. These are looking really nice. This is something I'll definitely going to use on some of my projects and basically bunch of stuff that we can use. So let's implement some block from this library. Let's see how does it look in the Next.js application. I'm going to implement this hero section. I like this one a lot and Everything that I need to do is to copy this pmpm command. So I'm clicking here. We can see that I copied this one and I'm going to open my terminal. So here inside of my projects directory, I'm pasting the command from the library and this one is going to install everything for me. So Next.js, ShedCN and then this component that I need. That's really awesome thing with ShedCN commands. We are getting everything with just one command so we can start from scratch really quickly. So I'm going to name this project Hero and now we are creating our Next.js project and when this one is created, here now we are choosing our ShedCN color. I'm going to choose Stone. We are writing the component.json directory and Voila, there it is. So we have here the hero section, logo, hero file header. So these are the custom components from this library. And now I'm going to that hero directory and I'm just going to run pmpm dev. And this one should run it here, localhost. I'm running, here it is. So we have our Next.js application up and running. And now what we want to do is to open that code. I'm opening it with the code and then dot. I'm inside that directory. So I'm opening the code. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so you can see what am I doing. And now we want to see what do we have. So here we have the hero section. So this is something that we need to use. We can see here that we have some problems with the components. So text effect is not on the right place. It is here in the UI directory. Okay, so here in the hero section, I'm going to delete this link and AI gave me what I need. We are going to do the same for the animated group. And that one is probably in the same directory in UI like this. Nice, that's it. So now we can go to our page. I'm going to delete all this default stuff from Next.js. And here we are going to put this hero section. Nice, so let's see if it works. It's not working because let's see the error again. 
So invalid source prop, we are getting an image from a host name and we are not allowed to do that in Next.js. So I'm going to copy this rest.cloudinary.com and we need to put it inside of our next config here. So here we are now adding the images like this and then we need remote patterns. Yes, AI knows it all. And the host name is going to be this one and we just need to put protocol to HTTPS. So now we can go here again, refresh, and let's hope it's going to work. There it is. So we have here our hero section. I don't know, I implemented it maybe in one, two minutes, something like that. Here we're missing the image. We can just put, that's a placeholder, so we can put that there something from our application. And we even get here our customers. So this one is really amazing. It's really incredible how fast can we build something like this these days. Before, for this kind of design, you needed designers, you needed money, you needed a lot of developers. But nowadays, you can just pick this component, copy and paste it inside of your code, and even adjust it to your needs in V0. So we could put here, give me more animations, give me different colors, adjust this to my design, and we can do whatever we like. So this is the right moment to be a developer. I really hope you enjoyed this video. You have the link to this library in the description below. And for more content like this, join the mighty horde, subscribe.